Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to the Happy Abyss. I'm still playing around with the audio settings. For me, the music sounds a bit louder than it should. Ah, that is totally not what I thought I clicked on. I'm going to turn down the music, the ambiance a little bit, maybe the UI. All right. Let's see if that sounds better for me. Anyway, sorry for the distraction. Uh, let's see what... Oh, well, one, this giant thing is giant. Uh, I actually turned it off for a little bit, got it back down to a vacuum so I could put in that sensor. Basically, this just says, if the pressure in here gets above 20, pump it. I also re-jiggered this. So each one of these should have 10 grams of gas left over. But as you can see, it doesn't always work that way. Like, as soon as there is a single packet missing, it takes a long time for that 10 grams to back up. So only this top one has backed up all the way, and the rest of these are still working on it. Like, you can see they're all connected, but they're just not bypassing. So yeah, we get this little bit of 10 kilograms reachable food. How? How? Like, this is the third time I've had to have Ellie dig herself out of here. Like, you can go down that, right? Yeah. This, she just very much wants to go up that ladder. I don't understand it. Anyway, this is the next big area I'm digging out. And... I actually want some different bunker doors because I want to put a rocket real close to this side. And now I'm trying to decide if I even want, no, I want bunker doors. I definitely want bunker doors. All right, the game is frozen. There we go. The game's coming back. All right, so if I want bunker doors, Want to avoid the neutronium, so that's there. And the reason for this is the next big build is going to be a melter. I want to make something to melt stuff. You know, regolith obviously, but I also want to start off with a rust melter and yeah, just more big stupid power things. Actually, where's my food at? All right, so we're below a million in fried mushroom once we get closer to eating all that i'll switch them over to uh, barbecue that was gonna be a mess because of course they did it during a meteor and then everyone ran away which also means i'm gonna have to extend the hydrogen pipe because this melter is going to be running off of a rocket ship. Going to use the hydrogen rocket to get the heat into a steam room, probably. I haven't decided if I want to do a steam room or a magma room. Do one of those rooms have a hydrogen rocket melt it and then have all of that stuff run through it. But we're going to need a big area for it, so we're starting to dig it out. Other things? Things. The uh, tungsten rockets are going back and forth. I don't think I've got full research on them yet. Nah, it's just two each. Oh, this one does. This one has isoresin and fullerene. But this one we don't know yet. Just niobium. Some very slow builders. You didn't finish. Damn it. Sometimes. Yeah, there should be a gap of one. This area is all in a vacuum. I think the rocket's going to land somewhere in this general area. Let's prioritize this digging. 
Hopefully my jet suit dupes will do it and no one will get stuck. And I'm sure there will not be a jump cut of me going, Hey look, dupes got stuck. Hey look, a dupe got stuck. <laughs> Wasn't his fault though, Regulus fell where he was and he got elevated up with it. Now the pathing path is going to be awful because stuff to stand on keeps moving. They, they just absolutely love getting themselves into a position where they can't get themselves out of. I mean, it's just their goal. I don't even know how they got up there. The rest of this digging went swimmingly. Big piles of stuff. I know there's a vacuum over here, so I'm trying to dig to that next. And then I'll work. I mean, if that is a vacuum, I just want to seal this area in. I just, I just thought of that. I'm trying to make this into a vacuum, and I'm thinking about putting the backing in to stop it being a vacuum. Sometimes I'm dumb. All right, let's put a wall in and some suit docks. All right, I'm gonna reprioritize them to dig down here. We'll save that for last once I get this wall in. And the suit docks. And yeah, I did prioritize that. That way I can drop all the debris out of there. Let these get built, and then I'll toss in some Visco gel to seal it off. And by having this gap here, they can essentially teleport through the Visco gel without getting wet. So sometimes with the Visco gel lock, they'll get the soggy feet debuff. So that's why you see me have this gap down here. Did I miss my research rocket? No, I've got a, I've got a ways. No, no, that's open to vacuum yet. stuck. Uh, yeah, this is going fantastic. Oh, that's you turning on and off. What's the temperature in there like? Okay, I think this temperature has been slowly creeping up, which is perfectly fine. Let's see, how are you looking? Oh, that reached 20 kilograms, so this pump will turn on and off. And still only overflowing 10. So that's perfectly okay. Uh, all my polluted water is being stored over here. It's full of food poisoning germs, but it just runs through this. And we're making tons of reed fiber. Metal volcanoes are good. That's good. These are all full of water. Okay. And we have a giant pool of oil. All right, let me fill this in. We'll let them keep digging up top. I don't know if I pointed this out before. Like I knew that I had that one volcano, but there's two more volcanoes down here. How, how did you even get there? Construction, cancel. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm in the middle of the save. Do you get to breathe? Okay. <laughs> that was worse. I'm like, middle of a save. I didn't, wasn't sure if that was going to work. Yay, we saved a dupe. I don't even know how they got down there.
Anyway, down at the bottom of the map, there there's a bunch of volcanoes, which... Yeah, that's back to the old school. I think I mentioned before that there was definitely one, you know, that, that went away from that for a while, but apparently there's a whole bunch more down there. All right. All right, we saved a dupe. I feel much better. And we have more dupes stuck. You got sedimentary rock and you guys have granite. So let's switch this to granite. Really? They absolutely love getting themselves stuck. It is just an amazing trait. And just cleaning up for these projects always takes the absolute longest. One of the reasons I'm doing it this way, so I'd leave this floor out, all the debris will fall out of there, and then I don't have to deal with it inside of the space. And to that front, I'm also walling in the sides to push the debris over, so I just don't have any stuck on the sides. My research rocket should be back shortly. Maybe. Star map. Ah, another couple of cycles. How are my shovels doing? Uh, we got 40 eggs in there. And 29 critters in there. Looking good. But I don't want to put them in suits until I have to. Just because that slows down their movement. Right now they could run pretty quick. Air pressure's a bit thin. Now I don't have this bleach stone or ice or anything else that can melt and ruin my vacuum. Fisco gel, you always have to be careful. If you pump too much in, it will start to break the blocks above it. Am I short a suit? I have no idea how many suits I have. I'll just make some more. Perfect. Deconstruct you. And those suits are already full. Wow. And... Checkpoint. Gold. Alright, and then... Oh, I missed one. Sure. And yeah, looks like we got the rest of this cleaned out. <sighs> now if only they'll build the dock. Perfect. And your priority is seven. All right, so they should be bringing that suit as soon as there is one. I think, ah, I clicked outside the game. Sorry about that. So I believe I knocked all the suits off of here. Yeah, because I don't need that many suits. How are you looking? Yeah, so as long as you are kicking on and off, we're golden. I mean, we're even at the point where both of these are turning on and off. All right, so we're still building over here. We still got plenty more fossil, plenty more map to dig up. And that damn cold volcano I keep forgetting about. 
But now this should slowly work its way down to a vacuum. Is that a shovel egg? All right, let me have a think about how I want this whole system to start. Obviously, it's going to be over here with a rocket. And we'll uh, start to queue it up. While I was queuing up that other stuff, the uh, research rocket is about to come back. But the distance it's going, it's now too far to really do practically with petroleum. So I was like, oh, how do I switch it to hydrogen when my piping's all in the wrong place? So I'm just going to build, build it over here. And I can probably make it even better. So I want a liquid, uh, oxi no, liquid oxidizer. Because I only need 1,600 kilograms of fuel to get it some some place, whereas with the petroleum it was going to be like 2,700. It was getting to the point where I might even need a second oxidizer tank. Wrong. No, I'm rocket. And I can repurpose this rocket pad for something else. But first, I don't want it to have any more fuel. Yeah, it's already on three. Yeah, so I can do this with two liquid tanks. That one's at 900, and then the next one will be at 730. All right, and then over here, I had them prioritize the... Oh, you should not be there. You're going to cause me problems. I'm trying to see if I can make this just absolutely ginormous. I think I want to try this full of water. Ah. Let someone come build this and maybe we can get the research rocket back out of here. Oh, you are now looking for meteor showers, which we don't want. I've actually gotten used to spaced out where you disconnect a part of a rocket and the whole rocket falls down. Whereas here, you can just start deconstructing everything. I want to move that pad up. No, no, keep building. Right, well, as I'm thinking about doing this, I think I'm just going to do a quick auto sweeper to get everything in here out of here because that would just make my life much, much easier. Do you have the range? Ah, oh, so close. So let's see, you can reach there. So I need to do that first. All right, well, I want to bring power this way anyway. Should be fueled up. Oh, I need this tile. I always forget that one. And you need an ammo suit, which I should have made more of. Maybe. 
Well, and I should have dropped one off of that rocket. So yeah, we should be good. Get there. Someone bringing my atmos suit? No pending deliveries. Let's have someone make one? Yeah, they haven't made any. I've got plenty of reed fiber. Well, I can just do this. I don't need that suit or that suit. There we go. And the other reason I want to do this is I want to make sure I know how far the heat's going to go from this rocket. Make sure I made that the right size. There you are. Okay, so that did not warm up at all. Eight. Seven. Okay, so that might heat up this thermium tile, but that's fine as long as it doesn't hit the door. And now we're just waiting on the power wire to be connected. This is going to report a massive potential load, but that's only if these doors open and there's no automation hooked up to them. I'm making all this out of thermium because I know this steam rocket or hydrogen rocket produces really hot steam that will melt steel wires. Like most of these ladders will eventually melt as well. Come on. Yeah, you guys want to. Seriously? Come on, people. Travaldo, you were just slow. Perfect. We want you to be sweep only, priority one. That way my dupes don't try to deliver to it. Rocket is that, uh, the steel rocket. Oh no, that's one of my hydrogen rockets. Oh, nice. So do we know more about what's going on? Oh, that's, yeah, that is this one. Now we still don't know what that one is. What did you come back with? 300 kilograms and 500, not bad. Actually, I haven't checked that. What is my level of niobium? I might be bringing back more tungsten than I can make into thermium. Yes. So you... That way we don't have to worry about it. Well, I think... We'll call that good. Bit of a short... 
slightly shorter episode, but mostly I'm waiting for this to vacuum itself out with this giant gap in space. Sweep all this up. In fact, I'm going to cancel you so I can dump water in here. What else are you running? Oh, this. Yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, so we'll sweep all this out. I can dump water into here and start to fill this up once it's got a backing. And then I'll sweep everything out of here completely. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying or have enjoyed this map. Obviously, we are well into the stupid big projects. And now we're going to go for a melter.